strong magnitude 5.6 earthquake struck North Island of New Zealand in a, an area that's not too populated, but it's around a bay which is populated. Let's take a look at that. We've had a 5.6 magnitude earthquake strike the North Island of New Zealand, as you can see here. New Zealand has the Taupo volcano, which is a supervolcano, which erupted about 70,000 years ago. It also has a White Island volcano that erupted December 9. That was because of the water that accumulated in the crater of the volcano. And uh, the superheated water, of course, had a hydrothermal explosion. So this is, this is the shake map according to USGS. And uh, as you can see, if we extrapolate the lines, it could have shaken the whole island. This is the North Island of New Zealand, South Island. And um, if we go back to the population, see how many people actually live there. And uh, going closer. Okay, these are the, the uh, sections of the population right on the beach, as you can see right there. Now, it was a depth of about 52 kilometers. And it's, a, of course, a very seismic area. The seismic tectonics of the eastern margin of the Australian plate, according to what USGS says here. Here we are. The uh, most seismic act active areas of the world due to the high rates of convergence between Australia and Pacific plates in the region of New Zealand. The 3,000 kilometer long Australian Pacific plate boundary extends from south of Macquarie Island to the southern Kiermatic Island chain, including oceanic transform and the Macquarie Ridge, two oppositely verging subduction zones and a transpressive Continental Transform, the Alpine Fault through South Island, New Zealand. South Island is right there, as you can see. And um, going north, let's see, going north to our area here. Sorry, okay. Uh, this is what we're talking about right here, that section right there, the subduction. This is Papua New Guinea right here. And going back to our description, since 1900, there have been 15 7.5 plus magnitude earthquakes recorded near New Zealand. Nine of these and the four largest occurred during or near the Macquarie Ridge, including the 1989 magnitude 8.2 event on the ridge itself and the 2004 8.1 event 200 kilometers to the west of the plate boundary, reflecting interplate deformation. The largest recorded earthquake in New Zealand itself was 1931 of magnitude 7.8, Hawke's Bay earthquake. The last 7.5 plus magnitude earthquake along the Alpine Fault was 170 years ago. The studies of the fault strain accumulation suggest that similar events are likely to occur again. And they have warned that there's a lot of stress have, that has been built up there in the North Island. A couple of months back, they did, uh, even before the... Um, December volcanic eruption, they did warn people that they are expecting a large magnitude earthquake 7.5 plus. North Island of New Zealand, Australia Pacific boundary stretches east of Tonga, Fiji to 250 kilometers south of Samoa. For 2,500 kilometers, the trench is under approximately linear, including two segments for old 120 million years past Pacific Ocean lithosphere subducts rapidly westward at the north edge of the Tonga Trench. This is right here, as you can see, and then it turns here, turns west over here. Okay. Um, at the northern end of the Tonga Trench, the boundary curves sharply westward and changes along a 700 kilometer long segment from trench normal subduction to oblique subduction to a left lateral transform like structure. Now, there's a lot of details here, of course. The Australian Pacific Convergent rates increased northward from 80 to 90 millimeters a year. That's pretty fast along the North New Hebrides Trench. But the Australian plate consumption rate is increased, in, increased by expand, extension in the back arc and the North Fiji Basin. Back arc spreading at a rate of 50 millimeters a year. That's pretty fast as well. And uh, along most of the subduction zone, Okay, now large, large earthquakes are common 
at the North New Hebrides Trench and have mechanisms associated with subduction tectonics. Though occasional strike tip earthquakes occur near the subduction of Den Castro Bridge within the subduction zone, 34 magnitude 7.5 earthquakes have been recorded since 1900. On October 7, 2009, a large interplate thrust fault earthquake magnitude 7.6 in the northern New, North New Hebrides subduction zone was followed 15 minutes later by an even larger interplate at 7.8 magnitude, 60 kilometers north. It's likely that the first event triggered the second of the so-called earthquake doublet, of course, uh, because uh, earthquakes nearby can be triggered on the faults nearby. And this is um, the latest on the, uh, okay, this uh, New Zealand quake. And we'll, we'll go on to look at what's happening on the West Coast as well, because we've had, I'm oh, sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Yes, we've had a uh, large 3.8 near uh, Long Valley Caldera and a 3.8 uh, here, this one's here, a 3.5 in Nevada as well. So I'll leave links below for you for this. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.